Alrighty, so tonight we are gonna be working back on the 64. Got my buddy Brent in the other room in there. He's gonna help me set my throttle valve cable, also known as the TV cable, on the 700R4 that we just installed in the last video. So I've got my new throttle bracket all laid out here. And the reason I'm gonna be running this one is I'm gonna be able to have my throttle bracket up top and then it's got these different attachments here that you can put whatever and one of these is going to house the tv cable because the turbo or the 700r4 it needs a kick down cable right here and we're going to get into hopefully adjusting this thing here before long but now i'm going to address getting all this together brent's actually under here doing the lord's work on my valve body say hey, hi hello. brent <laughs> <laughs> what's that you said we're probably gonna have to drill a different hole in there to make yeah, it. Yeah, I think uh, so. So we've got this TV cable bracket. We had to modify it to get the stroke and everything right. We'll go over that, or Brent will more or less here in a minute. But he made a little template off our old one and it was way out here. And you can see we want the nub where the throttle cable is gonna, or the TV cable is gonna connect. We want it to be right here. That's why we've notched her down and it's gonna be sitting back in this little notch now. So I'm gonna attempt to get the TIG welder out and weld that up. So Brent just headed out and we've had some mild success. We've got our TV cable set up here and we got our little bracket that I was showing you that I was making. We got it on there and we've got all the swing and everything calculated out right. Um, next time he's out here, I'll try to get him to kind of go over that a little bit because to be honest with you, it's a little bit over my head, but Maybe it'll help you out. And also I've got a website. I'll pop the picture up right here. And that is the diagram and everything that this is going off of. And there's a little bitty plate that he's been using to kind of set all this to get those measurements. It's definitely coming along. Um, I think maybe that's why a 700R4 gets the bad rap. You're, you know, people not setting the TV cables correctly because that is very important. That's what it gives everything the pressure inside the transmission. So with that being said, it's getting late tonight and I'm gonna probably hit the hay and I'll be out here tomorrow. We've gotta to hopefully get that throttle cable back on this thing, then torque converter bolts and then we can get the pan filter and all that stuff on and then just go from there. So yeah, making progress, checking things off the list. That's the main thing, so. Just keep pushing forward. To start things off tonight, I'm gonna be fixing uh, this throttle cable bracket here. As you can see, it's kicked over this way. So basically what I'm wanting is instead of it to be offset this way, closer to the carburetor, I'm wanting it to be offset over here because what's happening is where this throttle is in relation to all that, whenever we was lining everything up here it was just really at a poor angle it was like trying to kick the thing like that i know that's exaggerated but hopefully this will move it over and be a little bit more in line with where we're wanting to end up with that thing and then brent i guess he's got something kind of figured up this cable is crazy long the tv cable that i bought in comparison to like the one that came off of this so we're gonna try to shorten this thing up because we're just kind of worried about having all that excess just kind of hanging out back here in the tunnel. Well, I guess they say practice makes perfect. And if you've been around this channel long enough, you're probably not gonna be surprised, but 
that look familiar to anybody? That's exactly what we started with. I turned it around, welded it back exactly how it came off. So I get to take it all apart again and do it one more time. So I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, we finally got this thing flipped around the right way. So we've got some paint on it. Gonna let that dry. While we do that, why don't we run over here and start putting some torque converter bolts in this thing. I am putting just a little bit of blue Loctite on these just because that's about the last thing I want to come flying out of there is my torque converter bolts. And I am putting a washer in between here just to take up some of that spacing because it's kind of a little bit of a gap, about a quarter of an inch. So I've got about an eighth inch washer in here just to kind of get our final gap about an eighth inch whenever this thing pulls up. I've heard that's kind of the rule of thumb that you kind of want to around an eighth of an inch. So that's how I'm gonna set it up. And anybody out there that doesn't like to do it that way, you do not have to, but that's just the way I did my last one. And that's the way I'm gonna do this one. Alright, so I had to run this one back through just to get it started. Uh, I think it had some paint in the threads and stuff, so maybe if you get a new torque converter and you see it's painted, maybe you should chase the threads before installing it. it might make your life a little easier. Alright, so not a crazy productive evening, I guess. Got the torque converter bolted up. That turned out to be a little bit more of a pain than normal everything didn't really line up so there was a lot of like just loose bolts and moving back and forth and all that good stuff so anyway that is in we still got the bracket up here for the throttle needs to be installed but that's not going to happen tonight because i'm getting tired and it's getting late and i gotta work tomorrow so see you guys tomorrow hopefully we get that throttle bolted up and then start actually doing some stuff that feels like forward progress <laughs> super interesting but it's just what I've got going on and I apologize for that we've got a lot of cool things coming in the near future after power tour at the 67 we're gonna get that big block going in that so that's gonna be a pretty cool video seeing that thing come to life for the first time in a very long time so very excited to show you guys that and bring you along for that I know this stuff here is like watching paint dry and I do apologize for that. But it's just the necessary evil of these, these old trucks. You gotta, gotta do maintenance on them. You do upgrades and just bringing you along with it. So I appreciate you sticking in here with me. Alrighty, I think that's gonna work out pretty good. I'm not gonna final tighten everything because I think we're gonna have to end up actually switching out the lower bracket for this bracket to make up for what we were going to do for the modification so but yeah i'm thinking that that's going to work out pretty dang nice 
All right, so Brent came by earlier. He dropped this piece off. Kind of hard to see here. Oh my goodness. Freaking. Big horse fly flying around the back of my head. All right, now that that's taken care of. We made this little breath, or this little piece here. You can see in making that, we was able to shorten up our cable. So now we don't have that huge, big, long loop and all that. Cause Brent was kind of getting, I guess, thinking and everything that over time that thing might, you know, wear a hole in it, lose a little bit of adjustment and uh, in turn, not get the full strength or get the full sweep on the valve inside there that, you know, makes up your pressure for your throttle valve and all that. So. We shortened that thing up, so now it should be a lot more, you know, tight and over time. Shouldn't wear as much. What I need to do now to get this thing running and driving, filter on, put the pan on, and then I've got one bolt that needs, one hole that needs to chase because this thing, we broke one off when we were taking the pan off, so need to address that. <sighs> all right well that's not going the way i want to i don't have a tap i just got this thread chaser and it's not getting up in there far enough so i'm gonna go ahead and resort to putting our filter on let's slam this pan on and i'll try to go buy me a tap tomorrow and we'll try to tap that out real quick because we can still have access and if anything worse comes to worse, I'll just drill this thing out and put a through bolt and a nut on the back side of this and be done with it. I was wondering, I think this is, yeah, I think that needs to come out of there. I think that's our old filter gasket. So hopefully that'll let that go up in there a little further this time. See if that's any better. <laughs> I put it in the one hole that's in the stripped belt. I forgot. <laughs> throw some fluid in this thing and we should be pretty dang close to getting the test fire and make sure we don't have any leaks and then maybe even go for a drive i don't have the lockup hooked up just yet which i might research a little bit on that tomorrow and uh, see if i can't figure out how to do that exactly but dang we're getting pretty close to seeing what this little thing's got Alright, so this is the 10th cord I'm putting in tonight. Um, this thing is very slow. This low car style dip tube or dipstick is very slow going on going in here. But I'm just going to start this thing off with 10. It said about 11 or 12 online. Uh, there's about a quart and a half maybe in the converter currently. So we'll fire this thing up and that'll get us pretty close and we can get it a lot closer after that. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have time to fire this thing up today. But what I am going to do, I'm going to show you kind of what I've gathered on adjusting this TV cable with Brent kind of helping me along the way. And hopefully it'll help you. And as you've seen earlier, there is that little sheet. And that's kind of what I'm going to be going over and kind of trying to explain it a little bit more. And kind of trying to help you figure it out on your own. 
All right, let's see if we can't figure this out together. So this is gonna be the end of the TV cable, which you've seen, we made that new bracket for it and all that. That's what this piece is, and that's what's gonna mount to your throttle bracket. This is obviously the cable itself, and that is in the close throttle position. So this arc right here is just representing that this is a 90 degree angle to your center of your throttle shaft, right there. That's gonna be right in the center of your butterflies on your old carburetor. And that's why we had to, earlier, cut that one bracket down that we were doing so we could achieve this distance from the throttle shaft to our close throttle position on our TV cable mount. And that position is supposed to be between one inch and 125 thousandths to one inch and 94 thousandths. That's why we measured that and Brent had that little cardboard jig that I showed you. And he made that all kind of work and we ended up splicing the thing together and dialed that in. And now the only thing that's kind of a little bit weird for me is this portion right here. It says 55 degrees. It's kind of a weird measurement. It's kind of hard to see exactly where that is. But Brent, he made that cool little thing. I don't think I ever got it on camera. Basically, he made this thing exactly like this is in all these marks. And what he did was he has a piece of aluminum and he can hold it up there and he can see that 55 degree at wide open. And another way that we made sure that we were getting full engagement in the throttle valve in the transmission or in the throttle body, I guess, is I was, ho I was up top and I was holding it wide open throttle and whenever I would do that, Brent would be down below with the pan off and he would be able to check that throttle valve and make sure that it was getting fully engaged. And if it didn't or, you know, it wasn't fully engaged, what I would do is I would adjust this and I would put a little bit more tension on that so whenever that full wide open pull happened, it would in fact give us full pressure on that throttle valve. I know this seems like a lot and I'm not sure I got my head all the way wrapped around it just yet. Just kind of seeing all this is kind of helping me realize it and you know kind of getting my head wrapped around it a little bit more. Hopefully this helps you and maybe if you've got a little cool trick in the comments drop it down there uh, how to set these TV cables. I mean, this seems like a pretty fail-proof way. The link will be down below also on the full article with this diagram in it, and they kind of go into it all the way. Alrighty, so hopefully some of this makes sense to you, and hopefully it's right, but Brent has set up a lot of these, so I'm thinking I'm in pretty good hands with it. I really wanted to get you guys out for a cruise, and I'm really anxious to see how this thing is, but... I just had some overtime pop up work so I had to take it because power tour is coming up and the gas bill is not going to be anywhere close to cheap so had to make sacrifices sometime and do that unfortunately the sacrifice is coming in the form of this video and I hate that but I'm just not going to fire this truck up at 11 o'clock at night right now it's just not that kind of truck that you want to be firing up at 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, I appreciate the heck out of you guys hanging in here and watching these videos. It means the world to me, and I want to thank you so much for that. I'm probably going to be hitting the hay, but thank you again for hitting the like, hitting the subscribe, and all that good stuff. It means the world to me. It really does, and I want to thank you. <sighs> yeah, we're getting closer. Power Tour is too, so hopefully next week we got a big week we got a couple parts coming in to tune this thing, hopefully, and get this thing down the road, and then we'll be pretty dang set for power tour, I think. So, all right, I'll see you on the next one. Noe, are we gonna work on hot rods today? Yeah. Can you tell me what we're doing? We're sweeping up my name, field shirt. Yeah. We can, hey. Can you tell Daddy what we're going to do the hot rod today? Yeah. Tell me. We're... What are we going to do to it? Work and play. Work and play on the hot rod? Yeah.